Hi, I'm Kathy from the Garden Cat Cottage. Today I've got a really quick, easy recipe. Um, I got it from my friend Pat, who lives over there in Italy. Uh, she also runs a website called Sicily Scene. A uh, fantastic, wonderful lady, originally from Wales. I just love her. I get a lot of inspiration from her. Anyway, this is the easiest, easiest little thing. One eggplant, and you're going to cube it up, you know, whatever size you think you'd like. I'm going to throw a zucchini in that was not in her original recipe, but I like zucchini. One onion. Once again, uh, my favorite, Ronnie Maceo from Maceo's Island Spice and Tea. Um, I love his pasta sauce. This was his father's original recipe, and he's got it jarred up and for sale to the public, so we're very, very happy about that. So it's going to be one jar of that, a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning, and I've got here four chicken, chicken legs and thighs, cheap. So really, this recipe is under 10 bucks. What I'm going to do is dice everything up, <clears throat> put it together, aside from the sauce. Uh, in the morning, I'm going to throw it in my crock pot before I go to work. That way, when I get home, no fuss, dinner will be ready. So it's, it's very, very simple, easy, wonderful, filling, and healthy, and cheap. Cheap is the best part. Okay, I've got all my stuff diced up. Um, I chop it up a little bit thicker because it is going in the crock pot. The crock pot's going to cook all day. Um, a lot of times if you cut it up too small, it'll turn to mush. You won't even see it in there. So all my pieces are relatively big. I throw them all in a big Ziploc. I should be the spokesperson for Ziploc. I use so many of them. I throw a pinch of salt in here. I use sea salt, always sea salt. Also, I do a pepper blend that I keep in a bowl as well that I throw in there. Uh, crushed black pepper, a little bit of white pepper, and red pepper all mixed together so it's a melange. Uh, that way you get a different flavor on each part of your tongue and the back of your mouth when you're cooking. Uh, just add a little element, a little more depthness to the recipe itself. Like I said, it's easy. Everything's in the Ziploc. The chicken I still have in the package. Uh, when I get up in the morning, I am not a morning person. <laughs> that way I can just open these packages up, dump them in there, and be out the door to work. No fuss. I really hope you enjoy it. I'll show you a picture tomorrow when I get in that crock pot and then one again when I get home to have dinner tomorrow night. Thanks. Okay, here we go for our chicken and eggplant. I've already added one jar of Maceo's Italian pasta gravy. Saw my veggies and spices in the Ziploc from last night. I'm going to go ahead and dump these in there. Simple, simple. Okay. Here's a package of chicken quarters. Um, I don't think I want all four. I'm probably going to get pretty bored with this <laughs> and leftovers. So I'm going to go ahead and just put two in there with my vegetables. Put the lid on it. On low and dinner when I get home. Hi, I'm home from work and dinner is ready. Let's see what I've got here. A nice vegetables, eggplant, and zucchini squash, onions, tomato gravy. I added a little bit of water to it this morning. Plus with the other juices, it's got a good broth to it. It's got plenty of juice here. You could probably even boil up some spaghetti if you wanted to. Or some people even like it over rice. Now, my chicken is super, super tender. The bone just pulls right out of it. So I'm kind of glad because I didn't want a piece that big anyway. So it looks like I got the thigh here. And fantastic. <coughs> Ready to eat. <laughs> no have to slip over the hot stove or anything. Bon appetit.